I'll blow it, see, play. Your boy, you see, net. How that mag and shoddy work. Can't rid this smell. With bath and body work. Sick, sad, and probably worse. First, the chroma spit. Wise guys do drive bys and don't own a whip. Time comes, divine sons need a song to rip. Thugs and harmony. Cool, I got a bone to pick. Vlogs, battles, music videos, interviews, and much more. Pushing the culture forward. No Mercy TV. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV dot com. You know what time it is, man. I wanted to talk about this uh bullpen event that's coming up. You feel me? Shout out to John John, man. You know, um, close range to um this day series you know they give a lot of the um the bullpen newcomer shots you know get them up against established names just to you know test them and see where they at and shit like that and um this card in particular got a lot of people that i'm familiar with like i know there's a lot of people that really just watch the big leagues they watch url kltd rbe etc etc and a lot of y'all niggas don't really be known about the upcoming talent that's coming out of like the trap we go hard osbl 3bl and all these other leagues but i look at this card and i'm seeing some i'm familiar with a few of these guys so i'm like yo let me come on talk about this shit you know shout out to my bro john john always want to you know support him and all the shit he got going on you know so i wanted to really just tap in and talk about this card and you know give a little light to you know a lot of the guys that's on the come up you feel what i'm saying so um close range two this is uh all right, these are all one rounders. They make that clear from the gate. You feel me? These are all one rounders. Um, February eleventh, ATL, four p.m. to nine p.m. Um, streaming live on bullpen, and they got an event bright link where you know you can pop in, get tickets, and shit like that. You know, so um, let's talk about this card, man. All right, one person I'm not familiar with is a uh, OG Grizzly, right? He's battling New Jersey Twerk. I'm gonna say this, man, and I say this all the time. New Jersey twerk, when he's prepared, he's one of the best battlers on the planet. You feel me? Probably the best battler on the planet, like fully prepared. So, OG Grizzly, you better not come to play. You understand? You better not come to play because this is this is New Jersey twerk. This this I know he have his times where he's ass and he just you know show up with anything and be choking and shit like that. So if that happens, you actually might be good, but. If he takes his battle super seriously and he just is every ball hitting, you're going to be in for a long night. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, tell you right now, I may not have watched the battles before, but I know, you know, you're somebody who's on the come up and this might sound like a layup. Like you might have got over this and be like, yo, New Jersey twerk. Hmm. Hell, he be, he be half ass and half the time anyway. So as long as he do that, I might get this. And, um, yeah <laughs> think like that if you want if he don't half ass you are in trouble sir you feel what i'm saying so let, let's see how that goes dna versus philly hayes now listen philly hayes is somebody i've been rocking out with for years you know um had a few battles on the track he done battled on we go hard he done battled in a lot of different places right and one of the things about philly hayes that i like is that he's battled in like so many different settings so many different uh states like he would be what i consider a vet amongst the smaller leagues just because of experience like there's a lot of people who don't travel outside of their state but outside of their city and philly hayes is one of those people who's kind of like you know been around the block he done been in you know um all sorts of different environments so i feel like him battling somebody like dna who is pretty much the same uh, and in terms of the top tier status who's battered in all sorts of countries and you know shit like that it's kind of like those two um those two elements colliding but just on different scales you feel me now i'm not gonna hold you in terms of material um being able to land like consistent haymakers and a person who got that delivery and that conviction philly hayes is fire in terms of that but dna <laughs> DNA is DNA, man. DNA is DNA. And um one of the best in the world, easily. You know, he he can rebuttal. And one thing about DNA, he don't care about the name. It don't matter top level, low level, 
you don't see DNA playing with niggas. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure he's going to take Philly Hayes just as serious as he would take like a loaded Lux. You get what I'm saying? So I, I feel like this is actually going to be a very good battle. It's a one rounder, of course, but I feel like it's going to be a good battle. You know, Philly Hayes, he, he's not one to slack. And um, knowing that this is a shot and this is something that can propel his career to the next level. And this is going to be probably I think this would be the biggest battle Philly Hayes has been in like so far. He's going to take this shit super serious. So let, let's see how this go. Um, this going to be a goodie. It's going to be a goodie. I might edge DNA just because, you know, he's he's the super vet. He's a legend, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm expecting Philly Hayes to show up and really, like, do damage. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to that one. I'm looking forward to that one. I think that one's going to be a goodie. Next one, Shotgun Suge versus Young Herb. Young Herb is another one who has been around the block for a minute. Um, He's not new, per se. You feel me? Like, people think just because they're just now seeing someone that that means that they're new and that's far from the truth like i've been seeing young herb since um i want to say i am mouth battle league i want to say since like maybe 2014 2015 so young herb might got a little eight nine years in and he done if i'm not mistaken young herb has battled a couple of um a couple of oh geez let me see let me let me look on youtube real quick pull up young herb um battles if i'm not mistaken he's battled a couple of let me see he battled steams who else who else yeah he battled franchise he battled dna yeah so he he got a couple of names on his resume he battled uh dom marino so young herb is another one of those ones that you know he he's been around he battled boss major he battled remedy loco you feel what i'm saying so yeah young young herb he he didn't been around a block for a minute you feel me he, he didn't been around for a minute but um Going up against Shotgun Shug, man, I just don't know. You feel me? Shotgun Shug is on a tear right now. He's killing everything moving. He's not playing no games. Like, he's not taking a round off. And putting Shotgun Shug in a one-rounder, which is probably going to be like five or six minutes of him just going crazy. Yeah, Young Herb going to have his work cut out for him. You feel me? And Young Herb is not trash at all. You feel me? He's actually pretty good. but. Shotgun Shug is, is just one of them ones, man. Shug is just one of them ones. So I going into this, I would have Shug winning. I would have Shug winning. But Herb, this is a shot for you. You better take this shit super seriously because listen, the way Shug been going right now, he's damn near uh probably gonna win champion of the year for 2022. So for you, this is a chance. You better come with all of your best material, like all of your best stuff all of your best shit because this is going to be one of the biggest opportunities you get just in terms of timing you feel me like people are going to be um checking for sugar like crazy just because they they um looking at him for champion of the year they're going to be reviewing his game tapes and this is really a chance for you to be seen so you better show up ready to work because this, this is not only a big opponent but a big opportunity as well you get what i'm saying so um the next one arsenal versus super black man yo I don't know how long Super Black been around. And I felt like there was a point where Super Black was going to be one of them next ones. But I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know if he just, um, it, it, it feels like it's just one of them people that like when he gets the bigger opportunities, I don't want to say he drops the ball, but he just don't do as good as he should like to show that he's ready for that next level. Like he'll show that he can hang with those, you know, guys that are on the next level. But in terms of like really getting in there and just smoking one of them, I don't think we've seen that from super black yet. And this is the chance for him to do that. You feel me? Arsenal ain't one of the craziest lyrically, which is why, You'll be able to get one over on Arsenal, but Arsenal is still one of Battle Rap's biggest stars. He's still one of the most disrespectful. And Arsenal don't even have to be super lyrical to go crazy. He just got to get in his disrespectful bag, have a couple of filler that um, lead to like some dope ass haymakers, and he's going to get you out of there. You get what I'm saying? So Super Black, you're going to have to really come with it because Arsenal is like... He he's he's tough to beat. And you don't see Arsenal battle too many newcomers. Like you don't see Arsenal running around taking checks to battle uh newcomers on small leagues and shit like that. 
so this is going to be interesting to see, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Arsenal might be too much for somebody like Super Black. So we're going to see. This, this battle, it's, it's real tough to call. It's real tough to call. Um, I feel like a serious Arsenal this is just definitely going to win. You know, but if this is an Arsenal that's pretty much just showing up for the check, showing up because it's John John as his man and not really showing up for the sport, then Super Black might be able to get him. You know, and... um. Super Black is another person. He's deserving of the shot. Like, you know, just because he's been around so long, but he got to show up. He got to show up. This, this, a battle like this is, this is going to be the biggest, biggest opponent he's faced today. So, you know, he, he need to show up ready to work. You feel what I'm saying? Um, Calico versus 7J. I've never heard of 7J before, right? But for John John to book him against Calico, that means John John really, really believes in him. And, Calico. Calico is another one. You don't see him running around small leagues, trying to just get checks, things of that nature. So for this, I'm going to assume John John didn't just waste a Calico battle on just anybody. You get what I'm saying? But Calico, one of the ones, man, when it comes to flow, cadence, and just outright, um, you know, being direct. And that's another thing, too. You don't calico for a person who's as direct as he is he's gonna have to really do some homework on somebody like 7j in order to really like you know give that full calico because when you watch calico battles right he's always super direct with people he's always um using angles and you know shit like that he might have points where he trails off and go into some yo i was moving bricks blah 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 you know he might go off into that but he still has pockets where he's direct as well. So he kind of goes in and out. So I don't want to see a Calico that spends the entire battle not being direct. You feel me? So I want to see how this goes, man. I want to see how this goes. Calico is one of my personal favorites. So I am would go into this assuming that he would beat 7J, but I haven't watched 7J yet. So I can't really give like a full, you know, um, analysis and be like, yo, for sure that Calico is going to beat him. But listen, man. Calico is not an easy victory, so 7J better come ready to work. You feel what I'm saying? And then the main event, main event, John John versus Reggie P. Shout out to Reggie P, man. Re Reggie P is another one who been around for years, years on the battle tip. Like he, did, I think he said he been around since like the 106 and Park days or something like that. Like battling on radio and you know shit like that. So he's kind of from that cloth, right? So um, him going up against John John is crazy because like if we take stock and like battle rap rankings out of it, these this would be basically vet versus vet. You get what I'm saying? But Reggie P is just in in battle rap and the way it's structured now and the way it is now, he still has to elevate. He still um has to have those looks like you know um he's done other shit like uh he's he's battled on bullpen before um he's battled across so many different platforms but i think now was the time for him to really hone in and really start battling like you know those bigger names and shit like that and um he even did um if i'm not mistaken the the kotd season you feel me so he's definitely somebody who um you know, just just making his runs and going around and and battling. You know, um, a lot of a lot more well known people these days. Like he's battled Dot, um, he's battled Bricks Velvy, he's battled Bad News. So, in terms of, I want to say the upper echelon of like the South, he's like, he's like in that middle ground. Like he's like, I want to say, a like amongst the highest of all of the like quote-unquote rookies but he's still amongst the lowest in terms of the vets and i'm only talking about ranking wise not talent wise you feel me talent wise reggie p is fire but um i feel like he has pockets where he's just um not direct like you have to really when you when you battling guys who are vets and who've been around longer who have things that you can point out and flaws in their in their styles and just, you know, certain chinks in their armor, you have to attack that. And I think a lot of people forget that. Like a lot of these guys on the come up, they forget when you're battling vets, 
go straight for the chinks in the armor. Like it don't have to be the same exact material. 